let's look at the graphs of quadratic equations. Standard form for a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now it's important to remember that anytime you have a quadratic equation, a cannot be equal to zero. It cannot be equal to zero. It's also important to know that the degree of the quadratic equation has to be equal to two. Whatever the exponent is, it has to be two. You cannot have a degree of three, cannot have a degree of one, cannot have a degree of five. The degree of the polynomial has to be two. So make sure you always remember that. When you graph quadratic equations, your graph looks kind of like a U. We call this U a parabola. So a parabola is the graph of a quadratic equation. When you graph a parabola, the parabola can open up, it can open down, it can even open to the left or to the right. However, in this lesson, we will only use graphs or parabolas that open up or down. But just remember that they could open in different directions. Now, the way that you determine the direction of your parabola is by looking at the a value. If a is positive, your parabola will open upward. But if a is negative, your parabola will open downward. Make sure you remember that. If a is positive, your parabola will open up. If a is negative, your parabola will open down. Now, if you have a parabola that opens up, such as this one right here, the lowest point on your graph is known as the vertex. The lowest point on your graph is known as the vertex. If your parabola opens down, it's not the lowest point. In this case, it's the highest point of your graph that is called the vertex. Make sure you remember that. In this section, it's kind of a lot of vocabulary, but once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. Now, so I've shown you standard form for a quadratic equation, but let's look at another form. This second form is known as vertex form. Vertex form of a quadratic equation. So that is y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. y equals a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k. As I instructed you before, for it to be a quadratic equation, it always has to have a degree of 2. So notice the degree is also 2 here. We also uh, stated that a lets you know the direction of the graph. So remember, if a is positive, the graph will open upward. If a is negative, the graph will open downward. The reason we call this particular form vertex form is because in this form, it's really simple to find the vertex of your graph. The vertex of your graph in this form is always h comma k. H comma k. They also give you the axis of symmetry using this form. The axis of symmetry is x minus, oh, excuse me, x equals h. Very simple, x equals h. Now, for those of you that are wondering what is the axis of symmetry, the axis of symmetry, if I was to cut my parabola in half, going straight down the center, and I'm not the best at drawing lines, your parabola, your axis of symmetry will cut your parabola directly down the center. It will go through the vertex. All right, if I look at the second graph, cut it directly down the center, it needs to go through the vertex. I'm horrible at drawing straight lines, but hopefully on, piece, on a piece of paper, you should be a little bit better at that. All right, so you have standard form, you have vertex form. You now know what a parabola is. You know what the vertex is. You know what the axis of symmetry is. The last form that you should be familiar with is called intercept form. Intercept form. Intercept form is y equals a times the quantity 
of x minus p times x minus q. This is your intercept form. Notice you have an A again. A tells you the direction of your graph. The reason that this form gives you, or is called intercept form, is because it's really simple to find your x and y intercepts. And this, your x and y intercept is simply P and Q. P comma zero and zero comma Q. That would be your x and y intercepts. So these are the three forms that you should be uh, familiar with when graphing or solving quadratic equations.